Okay, quick little tutorial here. Um, one of our vocabulary words is abstract. So in order to find some good sentences, I'm going to enter a search string that says abstract in a sentence. I've done that. I've come up with several sites here that all show me multiple sentences that I could pick from. You pick the ones that, you know, try, try several different sites. I check through several different sites. This is the one in this particular case with this word. It's not always the best one with all the words, but this is the best one with this word for me um, to illustrate what I want to illustrate. And this is sentence.yourdictionary.com. When I click on that, I have, as they said, 496 different sentences with abstract in it. I picked abstract for the specific reason that it is the potentially the most confusing when you get to these sentences, because abstract is not only the um, vague or, um, you know, non-concrete ideas, ideas that don't have a physical representation like happiness and love. That is definitely abstract, and that's the kind of abstract that we want to talk about. Um, but there's also a form of abstract that is a summary of an academic paper, and several of these sentences are going to include that. In fact, it could be half or more than half of the sentences will, will include those. Um, abstract as a noun rather than abstract as an adjective. You got to be really careful. You can't just grab the first five sentences you see. You got to actually analyze those. So as I look down through here, uh, for instance, his abstract submission met the deadline. That's not the one we want. Do you have an abstract of a paper of presentation? Certainly not the one we want. Can I have an abstract of the article? Again, not the one we want. Um, we get down to here. It does not appear that a regularly organized or numerous Orphic sect ever existed, nor that Orphism ever became popular because it was too abstract, too full of symbolism. Even though we don't know what Orphic means or Orphism, it was too abstract, too full of symbolism definitely tells us that it was the version that we want. First of all, abstract here is being used as an adjective. And secondly, it is being connected with symbolism there, which is part of uh, the concept of abstract. But I could use that. I could not use that. I want to come down to this sentence right here. He asked me how it taught Helen adjectives and the names of abstract ideas like goodness and happiness. That has a nice amount of context there. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to bring it over to my Quizlet. I'll drop it in. I've already done this here. So I've got the word abstract and I have the sentence dropped in. And with that sentence dropped in there, I want to get rid of the word abstract over here. I'm going to replace it with a blank so that when I'm checking it out later or when other students are using my study set as we've traded, um, that, you know, it will give them, uh, we shouldn't have the word actually in there. So these are going to be those fill in the blank type sentences. So hopefully that just kind of walks you through and helps a little bit.